Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in our last video we talked a little bit about strings and variables and now in this video I want to go into further detail about strings, what we can do with strings, how we can use them in more advanced ways. So to begin with, what I wanted to explain before we actually get into strings, so what's important to understand is that computers, uh, unlike us, start counting at zero. So they'll go zero, which will be counted as the first index, and then one will be the second, two, the third, etc. Whereas, of course, we count at one, two, three, four, etc. So the reason I say that is, say we had a variable called user, and I put my name in there, and... I wanted to extract the first letter from that variable. The way I do that is by writing the variable's name and in square brackets putting the number zero to extract the first letter. And we put that in square brackets, hit enter, and you can see I get the first letter. And we do the same for any other letter going forward in that string. So the first letter would be zero, second would be one, third two, etc. So I can get the fourth letter in the string by putting the number three in square brackets. And there we go. So that's how we, what we call, slice up strings. Uh, we slice them up and extract individual characters by basically writing out the variable's name and then the index for that character that we want. And like I said, it's counted from the number zero, starting from the left to the right, but you can also go from the right to the left if you like. So we can go in negative numbers. So if I wrote user square brackets negative one, that would give me the last character in the string. And I can go further than that. I can go user minus three, and that will give me the third character from the back. And we can go from right to left or left to right. So as well as slicing out individual characters of a string, we can also slice out a section of a string. And the way we do that is by, again, utilizing the variable name and square brackets. And we firstly input where we want the slice to begin from. So if I wanted to start right at the beginning, that would be zero. And we use a semicolon. And after that, input the index where we want the slice to end. So if I wanted the slice to end at the fourth index, put that there, and close it in square brackets, and there we go. So you can see I got the first four characters of the string, and that's that. Uh, if we ever omitted a digit, so if we wanted to slice out a section of the string and we omitted the first digit, we would just put a semicolon and four, Python would understand that and would know that we want to start from the beginning. Uh, well, it would say, okay, yep, you missed out the digit, I'm going to start that from the beginning and the same would go for the last digit as well so if i put let's say three for the beginning and omit the last digit it would say okay you want me to get that from three all the way to the end and that's exactly what it do so that's how we slice up strings in python what we can also do in python which is another function built into it similar to how we utilize print earlier, so we, uh, I showed you we can print out strings using the print function. There's another function in Python called the length or len, len function, and this will tell us basically the length of a string. So we can basically call that function by typing len, open parentheses, and input a string in there, close the string, close the parentheses, and it will tell us that the length of that string is five characters or five indexes and we can put a variable in there as well it doesn't need to be a string so if I had the variable user as we initialized it earlier as Imran I'm just going to go ahead and do that again for good measure and I passed the user variable into that length function it will again tell me that the length of that string is five what's important and just a little FYI to consider is blank spaces are also considered as characters. So if I had the user and I typed my full name in there, and then I went ahead and passed that into the length function, it will tell me that it's 11 characters, even though each individual character is five in the first name, five in the second, 
the space in between is also considered a character and as such it is 11 characters in total. So that's just a little intro into functions and features of strings. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. In the next few videos we'll be going into lists and loops. I know this stuff's slightly boring and uh, it is just the basics of Python. Hopefully we can get into more interesting things going forward and build some more interesting programs and some useful programs. But the basics are important to begin with. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I'll catch you in the next one.